ClassicVWBugs.com and vlog number 20. <laughs> uh, I know it's been a while uh, since I've done a vlog. I think the last vlog I did was like, oh my God, I think it was in January um, because I just moved to a new place. And the new place I moved to is two minutes from my shop. So I don't have much travel distance anymore. I'm in my bug and I hope you guys can hear me clearly. Uh, because you guys always wanted me to drive and do these vlogs in my bug uh, They didn't like it in the Passat too much so um, So what's been going on with classic VW bugs? I'm just kind of flying this off the top of my head. So if I stumble a bit or while I'm driving uh, You know trying to get some words together here. It's like I also have to focus on the road And if you hear that 40 horsepower beauty in the back there I put some tapered tips on this bug uh, and it uh, I think it comes out it sounds really nice I, I didn't go with the stock tips so uh, but where have we been what what's going on with classic VW bugs um, guys I've been super busy with this whole COVID thing uh, it's incredible I thought I was gonna slow down but I've been busier I think than ever more than ever um, so that's, you know, that's pretty cool. I wound up hitting up all my clients in the beginning of all this. And by the way, I really hope everybody is safe with all this. And hopefully this crap just like goes away soon. And, you know, it's kind of frustrating. You know, we were on vacation and we we're in the, in the hotel, out the hotel and mask on, mask off, mask on, mask off. And uh, I do think, you know, I, that, that this thing is out there. I did have two family members that came down with it um, But the good news is that at least like it sounds like it's treatable. I'm no doctor uh, But I think we're gonna see a change in this COVID thing. I could be wrong When the election's over <laughs> I think this is a, a this has gotten kind of political now, but anyway, here's say that say whatever, but uh I've been super busy uh, and it's just incredible that you know, I, I, I haven't been this busy in, in a really long time, um, or ever, really. Uh, I have five painters now, so in the beginning of COVID, you know, all these body shops were, were dead. There was nobody on the road, so they needed work. So now they're calling me when, you know, they're really dead. So I said to my dad, let's, let's capitalize on this and let's... Let's get these cars out there. So I have I have uh, you know a bunch of painters right now, and they're working on our cars, which is really good. So we're getting stuff done quick. They've gotten kind of busy again. Things are kind of going back to normal. So of course, what's happening all over again is that they are slowing down uh, a little bit now. But I did I did capitalize on the beginning of this all. So, anyways, that, to that end, I know I haven't been putting out much content. Uh, this past summer, I did put out some rerun stuff. I did put out my uh, headliner ragtop uh, series. That was uh, I used to have that for sale as a DVD. Thank you uh, for a while. And uh, so I finally said, you know, that's over. I think 10 years old that that series. And I said, let me just uh, yeah, let me just put it up on YouTube in several parts, and you can see that. Yeah, I'm much younger <laughs> and uh, you know the quality of the video is not the greatest now everything is HD that was standard definition back then so yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that and again I've gotten better with my techniques since I've done that series so if you see that and you're like oh why did he do that yeah I was still kind of uh, you know doing that out of my garage in my house um, and of course as we get older we get wiser and smarter and you develop better techniques so uh, I hope you enjoyed that um, 
and then really I'm trying to reevaluate classic VW bugs as uh, for my YouTube channel as a whole for a business we're still doing builds and, and still finding bugs for people consigning cars for people um, but uh, as far as the YouTube channel is concerned uh, you know I'm still kind of like in like a I don't know maybe like classic VW bugs 2.0 transition uh, I think I need to change things up a little bit and you know what I, I, I got over 600 videos on that channel um, 13 years on it since 2007 so we're approaching 14 years now and you know those how-to videos they they take a lot of time to do you're stopping you're editing you're shooting you know uh, as you're working and thankfully I got a filmmaker mind an editor mind so I know where to break things up so things don't take as long but you know uh, it's still very time-consuming to do those videos and so I've been trying to balance my priorities so to speak so long story short you know I have to put my time and effort into my bills for my clients because that's what keeps the lights on that's what keeps the you know my shop the water running you know supplies you know uh, materials all that sort of thing to keep going if I just dedicate all my time to YouTube uh, I would be broke probably out of business so I hope you guys get my drift uh, so uh, so I'm trying to think of some other, uh, you know, another angle for classic VW bugs. That's why I did some driving videos. People were really receptive to that. Uh, and I did one video where I drove for over an hour in the 54 Beetle. That was my friend Joe's car. And I did three videos out of one. So I could do one as a complete driving video. You just hear the engine like you hear here. Or I do one with music, soothing music. You can study to it. You can relax to it that sort of thing and then I did another one as like a time warp video so I crunched the hour drive down to 10 minutes so you see the drive because this GoPro camera is just amazing that I'm using right now um, so uh, I wanted to to get that out there for you guys and try something a little different um, you guys want more how to's let me know I'm all open to ears and listen to what you guys are wanting out of my channel um, but do understand time is money and it's hard to always do a how-to um, I don't mind getting behind the camera and kind of recording on the fly um, but again it's got to be worthwhile to me you know and also I don't know if you guys notice I started another channel on YouTube so a lot of time has been dedicated to that and that's also I'm working my way into possibly a side business with that as well like another side hustle so my time between the Volkswagen shop, the, YouTube, the two YouTube channels, it's been sucking up a lot of my time and trying to balance my new married life. <laughs> you know, I've been married, we, we hit the two year mark just recently. It's now September, 2020. So if you're watching this later on, um, my wife and I, we hit the two year mark. So uh, things change, yeah, when you get married. So I gotta dedicate time to my wife too. And uh, you know she's been she works a lot and we work on all day long and we just have a short amount of time together uh, either in the morning or at night uh, sometimes she works weekends too and I work weekends so uh, you guys know how it is I'm preaching to the choir here so that's basically what what's been going on um, I wanted to talk to you about too what's been happening with I don't know if it's due, due to COVID or just within the past year or two the um, prices of things Volkswagen related <clears throat> have been increasing so much. Parts prices have, I think, at least doubled. Uh, I'm doing final tallies of bills that we're doing and I can't believe the amount of money, I'm, what's, what's happening at the end of how much the parts are costing. Um, it's, it's pretty remarkable. Uh, and you can ask any other shop across the country that I that I've spoken to that I'm friends with and I, I'm you know We communicate to each other that it's pretty amazing. It doesn't mean the quality of the part again is getting better I don't think it is Unfortunately, and that's getting me nervous 
Um, I still try to buy the best parts as possible. My upholstery team, so fine, awesome. That hasn't changed. Uh, but the materials, say, we buy from our online vendors, retailers, um, I'm, I'm getting nervous because uh, some of the stuff is coming down to safety. So when it comes down to you know wheel cylinders, brakes, brake lines, uh, steering couplers, uh, driving stuff, braking stuff, you know, as I'm driving, some of that stuff is uh, has really been well, has really been subpar. Uh, uh, guys, I don't know. It's really scaring the bejesus out of me, you know, because last thing I want is one of my clients or one of my cars to be, you know, something fails on the road. I mean, I do run these cars three to five hundred miles before I give them to my clients, but sometimes it's just deterioration if the car is not being used often. A lot of my clients don't use the cars often. They might wait a whole year before they start driving their car again. Uh, so when the car sits, uh, we run into some issues. So that's pretty scary, guys. I don't know what's happening with that. Um, so, but I'm investigating. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, yeah, the, the prices of stuff has, has gone up. And so prices of materials, parts, and paint for my painters, their materials have also gone up. So paint jobs and body and paint jobs have now gone up. Um, it's it's pretty remarkable. Yes, I'm in New York, if California, maybe Florida, that sort of thing. You know, you got these EPA laws. You got a lot of laws that are be always being uh, put onto these guys, and um, you know, costs are just going up. So I'm gonna do a video, a new video soon, of breaking down uh, budget and what to expect now when it comes to restoring your own beetle and what kind of money you think you're gonna to have to put out uh, to, to, to restore your bug. Now I, I don't doubt like you can still do a budget style resto but it's not gonna be anywhere near what you used to do say five ten years ago. Um, things have really gone up. If you could do all the work yourself that's gonna be a tremendous help. If you can paint yourself maybe you got a friend that's got a booth you know how to paint or you could do it in your backyard somewhere. Definitely can't do that here in New York. Uh, unless you're in the boonies somewhere in the sticks uh, but uh, so something to watch out for uh, really really remarkable but in, in addition to the parts and stuff going up the cars themselves have gone up I think it the, the market has gotten maybe even hotter now uh, I see cars say a couple years ago so for example a Yukon yellow very common color um 68 69 you know 70 beetle uh yukon yellow black interior just tmi standard looking bug no razzle dazzle you know um you know you can find them and maybe in just in a driver condition not even like a show condition i'm seeing like mid to high teens sometimes 20 grand when I say a couple years ago, two to five years ago, you could have bought that car for under 10, six, seven grand. Uh, so things have really gone up. And I think, you know, again, the auctions have an effect on this. Uh, one site in particular is Bring a Trailer. Bring a Trailer is a fabulous website, a great auction site. I love what they're doing there, especially beating out what eBay does eBay is still falling short when it comes to dealing with non-paying bidders. Uh, Bring a Trailer has gotten rid of that. So, but the prices of Beetles on Bring a Trailer, some of them have been doing remarkably well. And some still, you know, you can still see, you can get a, a deal for. Um, but again, you have to do some work to the car. Uh, you know, sometimes it all depends on your timing when they're launching the auction. If it's around a holiday or something or like a weekend. Uh, you know, maybe football or something or, you know, a big event that happens on the weekend It's interfering or the timing is off. It's just ending at a wrong time You might see some auctions end a little bit lower But a lot of the auctions for some of these Volkswagens are doing really really well uh, So that's that's really good to see but again, it's it's bringing the price up. It's almost getting to the point where You know some of these beetles are pricing out 
uh, the smaller folks that want to buy get into uh, a first classic car I'm not saying you still can't you know get a, a decent priced Beetle but just start expecting prices a little higher than expected uh, that's what I'm seeing right now and the demand for the car in general is still there if not stronger uh, I thought it was gonna dip a little bit with this COVID stuff but it has not like I said I've been busier my engine tarboard insulation kit that I sell for convertible for Carmen Ghia and for Beetle has really gone up uh, so I guess people are home they're working on their cars and they're spending money uh, so uh, it's all a good thing I was I was nervous in the beginning of all this so keep an eye out for stuff like that I mean you know things could dip back and go back to normal maybe the, it's getting into a hot spot right now but um, yeah guys uh, things are looking good for the for the Volkswagen crowd and um, just reassures me that you know I'm in the job that I love I'm glad I do what I do and uh, it's it's such it's a lot of fun it's, it's great to still communicate with you guys and be able to get out there and, and, and talk and I'm driving my bug right now and I love it I can't you know this is this is the life you know so uh, but yeah guys I mean uh, sorry I've been uh, been out of the picture for a little bit just been super busy it has nothing to do with people think I'm going out of business or like I'm losing interest in the hobby or or the business in general I am not it's just I'm busy <laughs> and it's just it's only so much time in the day uh, you know to do things and after a while when I got to go home and eat have a good meal and go to bed I get to reflect and just take a break <laughs> you know because there's sometimes I'm up till midnight doing either editing or uh, communicating with people on online so um, as far as my social media uh, I've kind of taken a backseat with uh, Instagram I stopped kind of doing Instagram I'm kind of picking my battles right now so if you don't see much posting for me on Instagram, that's because I kind of took it a break for that. I didn't see the, um, there was not a benefit there uh, for a while. It was, it was great, great communication, great, great things, but my social platform is gonna be YouTube and Facebook. Uh, so you guys know where to find me. I, I don't need to go out on, on so many multiple platforms. Um, but Facebook, uh, I guys, I have two Facebook pages. So I have one for my name, and then I have one for the VW channel. So the one for my name, I've also been posting for some of my RC uh, videos, just to kind of kick that off and get it going. People have complained to me saying, Chris, I signed up for your Facebook because I want to see v VW stuff, not RC stuff. And I want to tell them that that's my personal page, Chris Valone. Uh, so I can post whatever I want on that and that's I post pictures with my wedding uh, and sometimes you know uh, whatever event that I go to more of a personal page uh, so if you want to see my VW stuff that's on my classic VW bugs Facebook page so go that's the business page so uh, you know sign up for that uh, as well uh, so then you'll get you'll get that kind of information so I do apologize for that. I'm not trying to uh, conflict with anything, but you know, as of right now, I'm just still testing the waters with the RC channel, and I don't want to dump into uh, another page just for that until I see it's taking off. Um, but anyway, so I'm rambling. <laughs> but uh, it's it's good to hear from you guys. I, I get a lot of emails from you guys, and uh, one other thing, last thing I want to point out is yes, this is an internet-based business, but if you guys can be so kind um, there are still boundary lines with when I'm available <laughs> you know I know this is a global thing I get calls sometimes from people halfway around the world three o'clock in the morning so um, my business line also comes forward to myself so uh, you know I am on Eastern Standard Time in New York and that's nine to five. So anytime you need to reach me guys, it's nine to five. And uh, I'm also screening my calls as of late, just because I'm getting a ton of phone calls from all over the world. Um, people wanna, you know, they want some knowledge, they want some how-to tip, they want some help, and I'm all for that, but I am not gonna pick it up. And if I don't recognize the number, because I'm just very busy, um, and if I do 
you know, a lot of times I can pick up the phone and I'm on the phone for a good half hour, hour, and I, I got to get back to work. Again, it's I'm on the clock kind of. I got to look at it that way. It it's really important. I tell us to people, I will get back to you, whether it's through email or through a phone call. The the only way I'm going to get back to you is if you leave a voicemail message. I have people that call constantly, call constantly, call constantly, and they won't leave a message. And then they'll complain to me in an email that they've been calling me and I'm not picking up the phone. And until you leave a message, I am not going to pick up, you know, I'm not going to call you back. Um, so I don't know, that's why the voicemail's there. Leave a voicemail, I'll call you back. If you don't leave a voicemail, I'm not calling you back, you know, so. Um, I hope you guys can understand that. Um, I am also the clerical guy in my shop. I do the books, I do the phone calls, I do the social, I do the emails, and I'm also working on the cars, and I'm doing videos. So, um, please be uh, understanding with uh, my position there. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that's it, you know. So call, leave a message. Let me know where you're at, what kind of question you got, and I'll be more than happy to answer you. It's probably best to email me uh, because that would, um, I, can, I can type it back to you. If it's a long, extensive email, try to keep it short and concise. Try to keep it simple uh, because it's, it's very hard to read a book. I get books sometimes from, from folks, which is awesome. Uh, I mean, a lot of people, uh, just following us. I, I really really appreciate it guys. It's so heartwarming to see some of these stories uh, But understand it's gonna take me a little time to get back to you because I still get about I don't know maybe two to three hours of mail based on the Volkswagen uh, uh, Business again on a, on a, on a global uh, scale so um, Again, I'm a one-man guy <laughs> and I'm, I'm the only one dealing with the the social end of things that being said, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I, I rambled a little bit. I do apologize. I hope you liked it. I hope the sound wasn't too jarring for you because the Beetle is loud. That's part of the reason why I used to do it in my Passat. The acoustics were a little bit better in that car. <laughs> but um, I'm still here, guys. I'm still making videos. So uh, I'm rocking and rolling. And um, if you can, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, I will be seeing you next time. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. All right, guys, be safe out there. Uh -huh.